Shabbat Shalom, and welcome to 5 Minutes of Torah with the Beth Israel Rabbi. My distant relative, Avraham Infeld, who was once the international director of Hillel, the Jewish organization on university campuses around the world, tells a story of when he once called a credit card company about a question for one of his credit cards and he reached the United States and the person on the other side picks up the phone and he says, my name is Abraham Infeld and the other person, the person operating the phone in the US says, Abraham Infeld? Judaism is not a religion. And Abraham says, what? And the other guy on the other side who works for the credit card company says, I was just in Israel listening to you speak on birthright. Indeed, Judaism is not a religion. Judaism is a people. But the question of what Judaism is, a people, a religion, a race, is very confusing, especially because at certain points in our own history, we have encouraged other people to see us not as a people, but as a group of individuals brought together by our religion, co-religionists. And so this past week when Whoopi Goldberg said that the Holocaust was not racism, but rather something that was perpetrated against Jews because of the religion, I understand from where her confusion could originate. But indeed, from the very beginning of time, the Jewish people have always been the Am Yisrael, or the B'nai Yisrael, the people of Israel, or the children of Israel, with Judaism, as Mordechai Kaplan taught, at the heart of our very existence, a religious tradition that brings us together, but we are indeed a people. Jewish history is complicated, but Jewish history is also exciting. This week we read Parshat Truma. And even within the details of building the Mishkan, the mobile place of worship for the Israelites where we are wandering in the desert, we find fascinating aspects of our Jewish history. And that is exactly why we have decided once again to invite Henry Abramson to join us online now in a five-part series teaching us Jewish history so that we will indeed be able to teach others Jewish history the confusing parts, and certainly not the boring parts. Shabbat Shalom. Please join us this Wednesday night at 7 p.m. for the first of a five-part series. Hello, everyone. I'm really excited about this particular series of lectures because, you know, I was presented with an unusual challenge to describe all of Jewish history in five lectures and not bore anyone. So, that's easy. I've decided that what I'm going to do is simply go through my regular surveys of Jewish history courses, but I will cut out all of the boarding parts, and that will make it so much easier. Everyone will have an amazing time. We are going to begin with the very, very earliest beginnings. We're going to look at some of the difficult questions of, you know, how do we work with the Bible as a historical text? And then what does the Bible actually say, especially when compared to archaeological evidence regarding the origins of the Jews, uh, the settlement of the land of Israel, the uh, growth of the United and the Divided Kingdom. Oh my, I better not say too much because I want to be careful and not to bore any of you by accidentally saying something that is not so fascinating. All of the lectures are going to be richly illustrated with uh, period art and maps and uh, archaeological finds and all kinds of things that I find really interesting and I'm sure you will too. And then we're going to go through in these five lectures really the entirety of Jewish history from the uh, late antiquity when we look at the period of the development of the Mishnah and the Talmud, rabbinic literature and so on. We're going to go through the medieval period. We'll probably talk about one or two ghettos but not 
enough that it'll get boring. We'll look at the disastrous Spanish Inquisition that, of course, follows on the very exciting and not at all boring period of the golden age of Spanish Jewry. Uh, we're going to look at the expansion of Jews in Eastern Europe and the false messiahs like Shabtai Tzvi and so on, the birth of Hasidism. Oh my gosh. And then we're going to get to the modern period with, you know, uh, exciting developments about the growth of modern Jewish politics, uh, the phenomenally consequential 20th century. And I mean, I can't tell you, this is going to be so much fun. I wish I could attend this lecture because I think it is going to be so great. Anyways, I look forward to seeing you in the audience. I look forward to speaking with you and uh, I hope you have an excellent day.